Hey there, hi there, hello there Disney fans! It's another episode of Talking About DVC and you're in for a good one today because this is the Spreadsheet Special. I've recorded a few of these DVC videos now and I just feel like every single episode sort of ends up in this number soup situation where I'm just verbally shouting out figures and, and they mean nothing. They're not arbitrary figures, they're really important because if you want to decide what your home resort is, you want to decide whether to do resale versus direct or you want to, you just want to know if it's worth it, then you really need to know your basic point value. But, and I don't know about you, I just I take on information a lot better when it's given to me visually and I'm really aware as I start just going numbers, 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 numbers that things are just going to fly around and they're not going to make any sense whatsoever. So what I decided to do was to share with you um, the spreadsheet that I made for myself when I was shopping for resale contracts because it helps me to work out and know exactly what my basic point value is and what my current point value is and that is really important because DVC hotel rooms are uh, booked using points so for example a Saturday night at the Polynesian in May would cost you 22 points fine how much is that? am I saving money? how does that compare to the cash price? well surprisingly the answer is totally different for every single DVC member, depending on when they bought, how long the contract is, what the home resort is, how much they paid originally, and it can vary massively as you're about to see. So you're going to walk through with me as I analyse a handful of contracts and just do my normal calculations to work out what the basic point value is of different contracts and we shall see which, if any, come out as being the winner at the end. I've attached the link to the spreadsheet in the description down below so you can download that and use the same spreadsheet if you want to play along or use it for your own resale shopping and handing over to me. Talk about DVC. What we've got here is the spreadsheet that I use to work out the basic value of the points when I was shopping around for DVC points. So I'll just run you through what I've got here and then we'll go on and input some different ones ourselves so you can see how it goes in real time. So I'm starting here with basically the number of points on the contract. That's how many points you'll get every year but I've also got another column here for additional points if you are buying resale you may have banked points from a previous year or you might have um, a year with incomplete point you'll see how that works in a minute and then you've got the length of your contract so uh, this one is Saratoga Springs which means that it expires in 2054 so we're in 2021 I've put a 33 year contract so to find out the total number of points that you will get over the lifetime of your contract, it is 150 points times 33 and then you can add your 34 as a little bonus to give you the total amount that you'll get. Then we've got the price per point which is $100 and then closing costs. These will be listed on most websites but be very careful that you remember you've got to take into account your lender's fees, credit card fees, anything else that if you're not paying cash up front. So you've got your additional closing costs and that gives you the total cost for the contract. And then if you divide the total cost by the total number of points, that gives you the basic value per point. So here we've got $3.20. So that's how much every individual point over the 33 years of your contract has cost you in real money from your upfront purchase price. Now obviously on top of that, every year you will pay management fees per point. So you've got $7.11 for Saratoga Springs management fees. And that added to that gives you the 2021 cost of your points is $10.32. Now the reason I say the 2021, the current value, is because the management fees will go up every year. This will stay the same for the next 33 years. You will still just have paid $3.20. 
The management fees will go up with inflation. Every year, if you want to work out how much they're worth or how much you're spending, if you're renting out, you need to update that figure and add it on to that. Right, so that's how we work out that current value per point that you purchase. So I'm going to show you in real time working with some right, working with some real listings. Now I'm going to be working with DVC Resale Market right now. I'm not affiliated anyway and all these resale websites are very much the same. You can see I've got up here DVC Star, uh, Resale DVC and honestly you can't swing a cat around the internet without finding a DVC resale website. I'm simply using this one because it's nice and easy to read. So let's just start with the one right at the top. I haven't prepped these in any way. You're going to see me just browsing as I normally would. Um, so this is a random one. The first one on the website it was just listed seven days ago. So that is for Animal Kingdom. And it is 360 point contract. And if we look here, you've got no points swinging over from 2020. You've got no points for 2021. So we're going to put zero and we're going to imagine that this contract starts in 2022. So it's got a 2057 expiry date, which gives it a contract length of 35 years. So that's how many points you will get over the next 35 years. And the price per point is $108. Closing costs, they've estimated $958. I'm going to keep repeating, you might have additional costs if you want to be really truthful on this. Make sure you research them and add them in that column. And so that gives us very, very comparable to the um, Saratoga Springs one. Because even though it's more dollars per point, it's got a longer length of contract. So it's $3.16. But then we add the management fees, which are higher at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And that gives us a current price of $11.23. You've got to really keep an eye on these management fees when shopping around, not just the price that you're paying for the contract, because those are the ones that you're going to be paying every year and they will make a big difference to the value. So you can see here it's just under a dollar more per point in real money when you're spending those points. Right, let's go on and do a different one. No two contracts are created equal and it's nice to kind of look at case studies. Right, I'm just randomly scrolling. Let's go. Yeah, let's go there. Bay Lake Tower. So you're going to see one of the much higher value contracts here, Bay Lake Tower, and that has got 160 points. But if we look, it's clearly had 25 points banked from 2020 because you've got 185 going there. So I'm going to put additional points, 25. Length of contract will start it in 2021 because that's the first batch of points we get. And that will give it 39 years. Yeah, because it ends in 2060. So that's how many points you'll get in total. Now, straight away, look, much higher price per point. So it's going to go 165. Closing costs of 785. Bum, bum, bum. So you've got a higher uh, basic value per point. But here's the magic. Look, $6.90. So that's a lower management fees. So it actually comes out very, very, ooh, almost identical to the Animal Kingdom contract. So even though your price, oh, the difference in price per point is huge, the length of contract and the management fees make a big difference. This is why I felt I really had to do these calculations to work out what I was spending and what was worth what. Let's have a look at another. Oh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I'm such a geek for numbers. Disney numbers are the absolute best. I'm going to look at Boulder Ridge and I'll tell you why. When I was originally looking a couple of years ago and I hadn't done much research, the price for Boulder Ridge was really, really low. Let's look, Boulder Ridge. When I was looking, it was closer to $100 per point for like $150 to $200, which is why I've chosen this one here. It's gone up a bit now, but still, I want to show you why I decided against it. So 195 points, no additional points, um, but it expires in 2042. Let's click through to it. 
Yeah, it expires in 2042. It's one of the oldest resorts. So that means that it's got just 21 years on that contract. Um, the price per point has gone up since I was looking, but still quite low, 115. Closing costs are 725. So that brings, look, that has already got the highest basic value by a country mile, including something like Bay Lake Tower, which is highly desirable and got high price per point. But you add the management fees, the highest we've looked at so far, and there, look at that, more than three and a half dollars more than Saratoga Springs. So I was nearly seduced by this low price per point and the fact that I just love Wilderness Lodge, like with my heart and soul. But the sense wasn't there. And even if you were to sell this contract on, as you were able to do, because it's only got a 21-year contract length, if I waited 15 years, there'd only be six years left on it, in which case you probably wouldn't get a very good resale price either. So let's maybe look at two more and then I'll say goodbye. Right, I'd like to look, I think, at the Polynesian. And the reason is, if I buy again, and I am thinking of adding on some points, this is the front runner for me. And this is a heart decision. I love the Polynesian with the very fibre of my soul. What should we do? Should we do a big, let's do a small point contract because we haven't done a small point contract yet. So Polynesian, there you go. Uh, this one is a small point listing, 50 points. Now these are often listed way, way above your more average size and your larger point contracts because people like me do want to add on small amounts. So they are listed at a premium when the small number of points. Um, you've got 25 points on from 2021. So I'll put those additional and then I'll calculate the length of the contract from 2022. So that's going to be 44 years. Nice long contract length on there. Uh, price per point is huge 175 now to be fair that's just about as high as i have seen the polynesian listed i've seen it for small point contracts like this i've seen it like 153 and everywhere in between and if you're buying like 200 points you can get it even lower so that's a very high price per point we've got there closing costs 550 so that gives you a basic value of like $4 something, which is a little below your Bay Lake Tower. But then it has a very, very reasonable uh, management fees of seven and five, which yeah, brings it right in line with the Animal Kingdom Lodge and um, Bay Lake Tower there. So it's still, it's only a dollar more than what I've got going on at Saratoga Springs. And it's just the most gorgeous place in the world. I love it. I'm just going to hypothetically change this to let's say 160 and see what that gives us because that will bring everything down. Right, so that's brought it back down in the $10 range. Now, the reason I've done that is that the prices listed on here, are well, they are listing prices, but you are able to look, make an offer. Oh, it goes sparkly. So you are able to make an offer on that. So there's no saying that's what you will pay. Now, when I negotiated my contract, I think I only got like four or five dollars off per point. Um, so I'm not saying you would be able to get fifteen dollars off, but this helps me think if I was shopping at the moment, hmm, I'm not willing to pay $175 per point. What am I willing to pay? And bringing it under that eleven dollar mark in this column is really what I want to do. So I could say to myself, right, the amount I want to pay is 160 and then take my negotiating from there. So it's a good tool for that as well. Right, the last one I want to look at is I think I'm going to go looking for one of the coastal resorts, either Vero Beach or Hilton Head. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Look at this, $71 per point, and a lot of people are very seduced by that. I'll click through on this one. Vero Beach. We're going to go for 210, so that's quite an average size contract. 
uh, additional points. Look, we've five points down, which must have been borrowed in 2020. So I'm going to put that entire year, 205, as additional points. And then I won't calculate the start date to 2022. So it just gets 20 years. Now, look, you will see this here. Buyer pays the annual dues. Yeah, don't worry about that. Because in my calculations, we put the we put the management fees on the end. If you are paying them, you just look in this column and that's how much you're paying. Sometimes you might not pay them and it might be an incentive saying the seller has paid the dues, in which case you can calculate those just on the basic value. So that's kind of adjusted in these two columns here. Don't worry about that at all. So your price per point is, what did I say, 71 really really low about as low as you're going to find anywhere there closing costs 620 add your own lenders fees so that brings us this teeny tiny actually it's not that teeny tiny it's mm, pretty average basic value per point and that's because it's got that short length of contract but then look at those management fees 11 dollars 23. Now, a lot of people, particularly probably when adding on and think, oh, I just want a little, I just want to spend a small amount, get a few more points than I've already got. I'm not bothered where I stay. Might add this on because they're seduced by that teensy tiny price. But in reality, every year you're going to be paying those on each point. Look, that is the highest by a country mile. So this is why you've got to do these calculations because this column tells you absolutely nothing. That price per point that you're looking at when you shop tells you absolutely nothing about this column. So make sure you do those calculations. Right, okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I am going to put a link to this spreadsheet in the description in the video below. So that's it for the spreadsheet. Talk about PVC. So there you go. I hope that was a little clearer than my usual number spitting that I do. But I'm going to do a tiny bit more because after that's been done, uh, you want to, an answer to the original question. How do those numbers compare to staying at the Polynesian with a cash stay on a Saturday night in May. So if you took that Saratoga Springs contract, then um, you would pay a real basic value of $227. And that translates to, at the moment, about £170. If you took the contracts at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Bay Lake Tower, or the Polynesian, who all ended up very, very similar, you'd be paying about $247 for that night stay, or £185. If you took the Boulder Ridge contract, that would work out at about $302 per night or £227. So that is £57 per night more expensive than if you owned at Saratoga Springs or the specific Saratoga Springs contract that we looked at. Prices may vary. And then the big loser of the day was that Vero Beach contract we looked at, which would give you about $324 per night or £243. But you're a winner no matter what you choose because I also looked at what the cash price would be. And I should point out this cash price is for a hotel room at the Polynesian, not a DVC room. It's actually quite tricky to find out what the cash price is for a DVC room. And that would be $711 per night or £531. So you are saving money on the face of it, no matter what. Obviously, there's other things to consider. Go back and look at some of my other videos if you are trying to decide if this is right for you. But 
th those are the savings and that's how I worked them out. Okay, thank you very much for spending time with me and doing some geeky maths today, my favourite of all things to do. Um, make sure you check out the other things on our channel. We have a twice monthly podcast where we review the classics, 37 Disney Street, which can be found on YouTube or iTunes or anywhere else you listen to podcasts. We also have a weekly Disneyland Paris news show and all our other bits and pieces, book reviews, talking about DVC, Disney bounding, vlogs and things like that can be found on YouTube. So like and subscribe. If you've got different ways of working out your price per point, let me know in the comments if you think there's faults in my maths. I'm always happy to take the critique. So thank you very much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.